Sports Director Sean Wells. Morning. Morning, Jeff. How you doing? Not too bad. 81 next Monday. Wow. Yeah. Fall. It's crazy. Fall. Crazy. Welcome to this side of the mountains. Yeah. All right, Sean Wells, you were at Peninsula uh, yesterday, a couple days ago. Uh-huh. Peninsula Seahawks say they're ranked fifth in the state. Uh-huh. Current and, AP rankings, 3A. the football team is coming to Shelton. I was looking at online on the uh, Facebook today. Sounds like, too, they're bringing a couple Reuter buses. Did you hear that? I did, yeah. They're uh, they're passionate about their football. All right, there. let's find out what the team looks like here in this report, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it here on iFiber One News Radio. The Shelton High Climbers are gearing up for a tough test this Friday, hosting the Peninsula Seahawks. Peninsula is off to a 3-0 start and are currently ranked number 5 in the state in the latest 3A AP rankings. The Seahawks played their first game in the newly formed South Sound Conference last week, knocking off familiar foe Gig Harbor 33-7. Peninsula head coach Ross Filkin says his team has to do some extra homework to prepare for new teams like Shelton they will face throughout conference play. And from here on out, you know, it, it's going to be a lot of learning. So we're having to do a lot of homework and a lot of extra studying and preparation that we haven't had to do, quite frankly, uh, in the last several years. Coach Falcons has watched a lot of tape on Shelton this season and likes what he's seen. He expects the high climbers to come out strong and knows his team will have to bring their A game to come out with the victory. They're really solid. They've got some really good athletes, um, very well coached, and, and so we definitely have our work cut out for us. One player the high climbers will have to keep an eye on is team captain and senior offensive tackle Cody Canoes. On the Peninsula roster, Canoes is listed at 6'7", weighing 324 pounds. He currently holds Division I offers to play college football next fall at Washington State, Idaho, and Hawaii, among others. Canoes is excited to get the chance to play at High Climber Stadium and is fired up to get his team ready. Playing on that grass is uh, a little different nowadays. You know, we got the turf here, so it's not too bad here. But, um, no, uh, just, you know, that they're a hardworking team, and, yeah, we're getting ready to go. You can watch the game live on i51newsradio.com and listen on i one News Radio with pregame starting at 6:55. i one Sports. I'm Sean Wells. Impressive, and that is a big boy, six seven, six seven, three twenty four. Uh, Cody Canoose. Yeah, he has some offers to play uh, college football next fall at Washington State. Uh, University of Idaho, Hawaii, Weber State uh, has some interest in some other schools. Wow. He's going to be uh, a tough to contain for Shelton. They're going to have their hands full. Uh-huh. So when you're there watching the practice, can you get any sense of the team, the team synergy? I know they're ranked highly in the state, but is it just because they have big kids? Or are they good? Or Tell me, tell me a little bit about what you saw. Yeah, you know, um, they run a base, 3-4 defense. They uh, uh, they like to run the ball a lot. Uh, two running backs that kind of share the, share the load. Okay. Uh, but they, they're not afraid to pass. And uh, Coach Falcon said they've been opening that up the last uh, uh, last game or so. Uh, really got things going. Had a big win over Gig Harbor, their rival. They called it the Fish Bowl. Uh-huh. Won that game 33-7. to Oh, wow. And uh, going into that game, uh, Gig Harbor was ranked number nine in the state. In 3A, and uh, Peninsula okay. really uh, uh, took it to them. They uh, they opened up their season on the road at, in Spokane, playing Mount Spokane, and uh, won that game uh, uh, pretty easily. And uh, Coach Falcon said that that uh, road trip really bonded them, and uh, and uh, they feel like they're they're playing their best ball they've played in, in in a few years. So they'll be coming to town, and the word is they'll be bringing a couple Reuter buses. So we're encouraging the high climber faithful to be out to the stadium early. Uh, if you can't get a chance to get to High Climber Stadium, we're broadcasting this in high def on ifiber1newsradio.com. Did you make it to a Shelton practice yesterday, or is that today you're going? Yesterday, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're fired up uh, coming off that big win uh, versus Yelm. I bet. Last week. Uh, yeah, they know it's going to be a tough test. Uh, a tough test to open up conference play. They're, this will be their second game, their first home game in the new South Sound Conference. And uh, But they're, they're ready for the challenge. I mean, they're not afraid to, to play the big boys. They, no. they took on O'Day in yeah. Seattle this year, and, and we're right there for the whole first half. So uh, they're they're fired up and uh, and uh, ready ready to get going Friday night. I like it. I like it. Let's move to uh, uh, what many thought perhaps we were putting the final nails in the coffins to the Seattle Mariners season as uh, they were playing the Toronto Blue Jays. They did win yesterday, but they've lost uh, four of their last six games, and uh, they just keep bringing you back. Right on the edge there. Are they going to do something with this wild card or what? They still have a chance. 
Yeah, uh, if you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. <laughs> They're two games back. Okay. Uh, for that second wild card spot to the Orioles. But there are a couple teams in between, the Astros and the Tigers, uh, who are both about a game ahead of the Mariners. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they got an easy road trip here. I mean, nothing's easy this late in the season, but the Twins are last place in the American League. And they have three games at Minnesota starting on Friday. Will that, so help, but they, that would, will that help the standings at all? I mean, if they win, yeah, they, which they should. Uh, okay. They should win these games. If you're going to be a playoff team, you have to be the bottom feeders. Yeah, you do. And so there's about 10 games left in the season. I think the Mariners have to win at least eight of those games if they want to make the playoffs. Oh, my gosh. But they're not even, they're not playing the teams that are between them and first place in the wild card, right? I mean, how, how does that... No, they play, uh, they have three at Minnesota, okay. uh, three at uh, Houston, okay, and then they close the series back at home, uh, the season back at home with uh, four versus Oakland. So, Houston is currently one game ahead of the Mariners, so those three that games at help. Houston will be very important, but really, every game now is incredibly important. It's win or go home, uh, and it's fun. You got you know we're keeping track of these other teams too. Baltimore, Baltimore, and Toronto are, are both one and two in the wild card right now. They still have a three game series uh, playing one another. Okay. Uh, so some of these teams are still going to play each other in front of us. So, so we're uh, not out of it. We're not out of it. Like I said, but we need about eight wins out of the final ten to uh, to have a to have a reasonable shot. I think at uh, making the postseason. All right, all right. Nine and a half. That's the point spread. The Seahawks have a favor against the 49ers this Sunday. They're nine-and-a-half-point favorites. Where are they getting that number? Where are yeah, the experts you know, uh, finding that number? Yeah, it's, it's tough to see after those first two games. But uh, playing at home, you know, that 12th, uh, 12th man advantage sure. really, really, uh, I guess that adds a couple points maybe on that point spread. But uh, I think the Seahawks will get the win. Uh, their defense has been phenomenal sure. all season long. I mean, just... Ten points to the Dolphins and uh, what, what nine was it last yeah, week yeah. Uh, to the Rams? Defense has been great. That's not the question. It's it's the offense. Uh, the rushing game has to get going. Is Rawls healthy? Is he good to go? How's how the receivers Bal- Baldwin and Lockett both had some injuries last week. Are they fully ready to go? Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can get that offense going. Is was Wilson healthy? Uh, is that ankle all ready to go too? So I think we will win this game. Uh, I think it will be closer than nine and a half. I'm thinking maybe a six, seven uh, point game, maybe even less than that. But uh, I think the Seahawks do get the, their uh, second home win of the season. We'll find out on Sunday with the pregame at 11 and the kickoff at 1 here on iFiber 1 News Radio. Cougs have a bye this week, so we won't talk about them too much. Uh, but uh, the Huskies are going to be in Arizona this weekend. Yeah, first uh, Pac 12 game of the season uh, for them. Oh, They've exciting. Had- Three kind of cupcake games to yeah. open this season. Uh, so. Rutgers, uh, Portland State, uh, uh, Portland State as well. Uh, so they are really looking to uh, get things going and uh, play a play a tough team, which they haven't won in in Arizona. Uh, I think it's been at least nine years. They've won a own game at University of Arizona, so it's going to be a tough tough contest. Uh, uh, Huskies are playing great football though. Ranked number nine currently in the nation. That's pretty good. Uh, everything's clicking on them. Their defense is is filthy out there. All right. So here's your here's your test. Here's your task. I know we are busy this week. Uh, this weekend we're going to be at we're going to be at the high school Friday night. But if there's any way that you can get to that game, the Arizona Husky game, I want to hear some reports. I want to see some pictures. I'm gonna. That's your charge. You got to figure out how to get down there and provide us some reports from the Husky Stadium. Or What's not you? Husky Stadium. What is it? Arizona State. Stadium. It's your lucky day, Jeff. It just so happens I'll be in Tucson. I know you're going. But you're going to that game? I am. I'm going down there to visit my mom, who who lives in Tucson. Uh-huh. And uh, just so happens, yeah, we'll be able to sneak away and uh, and catch that game for a little bit. All right. Well, uh, maybe uh, tweet us or Facebook us some, uh, some of your thoughts on that game this weekend. It'll be pretty interesting. Will do. Sean Wells, our sports director, he needs to go and start working on that big uh, report from the high climbers field so we can have that for you tomorrow on Daybreak and later this afternoon on iFiber1newsradio.com. It's 822. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Jeff.